Hey guys, I am just coming to you real quick with an update on surgery because surgery is in two days and I don't really have time to put out a full blown video and all of that, but I wanted to kind of talk to you briefly about what I'm feeling about it and um, what I'm thinking now that it's like impending and it's there and everything's a go and I have to be totally honest, I have been a little freaked out by it. Um, I've done a lot of research and it seems like there's a lot of pain involved. Um, hey, Mercy. Hi. And um, I'm. that's another reason I'm a little stressed about it is that she is only two and um, she still likes to hang out with mom and um, be held and all of that. And those are things I'm not going to be able to do. Could you go shut that door for mommy, please? Oh, Megan got it. And, um, so that's kind of stressing me out. The pain involved is kind of stressing me out. And then the, uh, just the recovery. I don't really know what the recovery is going to be like. I've had four C-sections and so I kind of think, well, maybe it's like that, but I know it's going to be different too because they didn't sew up my muscles during those C-sections. So, um, anyway, that's, that's kind of a little bit of a stressor to me. Um, watching other people's videos about having skin surgery and diastasis surgery and all of that, um, I kind of, it, it seems like there's some people who like think it was no big deal and then there's some people who, you know, they were just worst pain of their lives and um, I'm hoping I fall somewhere in the less pain side. I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but um, I also know that full healing and making sure that the stitches don't um, rip or anything like that is very dependent on me and how much I rest and um, make sure that I'm not doing any heavy lifting and that I'm not doing things that I shouldn't be doing. I'm not exercising too soon. Um, all of those kinds of things. It's important that um, I follow directions and um, as a mom of many, I tend to just go, 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 go all the time. <laughs> And so that's probably going to be the hardest part for me is not being able to pick up kids, not being able to pick things up off the floor, um, not being able to do just the things that I mindlessly do all day long, and then also just sitting and resting. And my big kids are going to be doing a lot of um, fixing meals and making sure that um, um, I'm getting up and walking and... Um, drinking and taking my meds and all of that. They're going to be involved in that. Um, my husband is only going to be able to be here with me for the weekend. And so, um, then he has to go back to work. So they're kind of, they're going to help out with that. And they're good with that. We kind of, we kind of live a chill lifestyle. <laughs> so, um, my big kids and I tend to just kind of hang out at night. And so, um, I think I think it'll be fine. I just did want to say that I am feeling fearful here and there about the recovery process and just um, I've never had this extensive of a surgery and you know after you have a c-section you get a baby at the end so that always um, you know that makes it worth it makes the pain all worth it but um, this is a little different and so um, I, it's been helpful to see other people's stories, but at the same time, I've also been a little freaked out by them. So <laughs> I'm not sure how much that research has helped me and then how much it's just kind of it stressed me out a little bit. But I did feel like I didn't want to go into this um, without knowing more about the surgery itself and how people recover and some of the things that they've done to recover. I did decide to stay based on listening to other people's stories. I did decide to stay in the city that I'm having the surgery done for a couple of nights. Um, I'm gonna take all of my oversized clothes and things like that to a hotel near the surgery center because um, I have a two and a half hour drive and I just decided that I didn't think I probably ought to try to do that. Um, right after surgery. So we are going to stay in a hotel for a couple of nights. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of thought I was going to be sleeping in a recliner. I've heard a lot of people who made beds work with having a lot of pillows and such. 
Um, so I guess I'm gonna try that or I'm going to see if maybe the hotel has some sort of chair or something, you know, that would be comparable to a recliner that would be comfortable. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then try to make the journey down to my house um, after a couple of days post-op. And then I have a one week um, post-op doctor's appointment um, to see you know how things are going and hopefully maybe even take the drain out. She only anticipates me having one drain and um, I guess we'll see when we get everything done how many I do actually end up with. Um, so that's a, a difference in what I was planning before. Um, and then some other things that I was told are a good idea. I'm taking some, um, it's basically an off-brand of Miralax and I'm gonna take that with me to the hotel. Um, I have an extra binder I'm gonna go ahead and take even though they will bind me in the hospital. Um, I'll take an extra binder that I have from um, the tummy team I'll go ahead and take that one. And then I did go ahead and buy compression wear. Um, my doctor hasn't talked to me about this, but it seems like a lot of the one, the surgeries that I'm seeing, watching on YouTube and such, they go ahead and after a few weeks, they start wearing um, compression gear instead of the binder itself just because it's a little more comfortable. So I'm gonna talk to my doctor about that, but I did go ahead and buy one. Um, I'm trying to stock up on stuff so that because I don't know how long it's going to be before I can drive. So I'm trying to stock up on stuff so that my husband and my kids don't have to try to figure out what it is I want. I know there's still going to be things that I'm going to need, but um, at least I have some of the things here and I feel like I'm a little bit more prepared. I am going to go shop today um, to make sure that the kids have a stock of food um, and just some things that they can easily put together and then they're gonna help me make some menus as well and um, my husband or my older son can go out and shop. So that is just kind of the pre-op update. Everything's a go. Um, I'm just praying for peace about everything and a really, you know, great surgery. Um, as you can see, it's Christmas time here. I'm hoping that I can just kind of sit and convalesce and um, enjoy the lights and the season and just take things really, really slow. Um, we are supposed to be moving after the new year and um, I know by then I won't be quite ready to do a lot of the things um, that I typically do when we move. But um, again, I have big kids and my husband can help and so I will not be as involved in the moving process as I usually am, which um, part of me is like, that sounds kind of nice. <laughs> And part of me, the control freak side of me is like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if anybody can pack as good as I can. But um, <laughs> I'll just have to sit and watch and direct. And I'm, I'm anxious actually to see how well I do recover and how quickly I feel like I can stop the pain meds and feel like I can kind of get back to some of the things that I do every day. Um, Again, like I said, we live a real chill life, so it's not like I'm doing a bunch of crazy stuff, but just running a large family household is kind of crazy in and of itself. So I'm just kind of anxious to see how I actually do post-op. I've had some pretty bad C-sections where it's been a good month before I feel you know, any sort of normal. Um, I'm kind of likening it to that, that maybe it'll be like that. I don't know. But anyway, so surgery in two days and I will see you on the flip side.